have a national anthem, their own flag and a leader in waiting. All the trappings of a potential new country, but without any land. Because what these people want to call Ambazonia is the English-speaking part of Cameroon. It's here the demonstrations have gathered momentum in the last year by people saying they suffer discrimination at the hands of the French-speaking government. Most people just want reforms, but calls for outright independence are getting louder. We are Ambazonas. We don't need anything again. The only, thing that, the only solution to the matter is let the government solve this problem by giving our independent freedom. At the end of the First World War, Cameroon was divided between the French and the British. At its independence in 1961, the English speakers opted to join French Cameroon instead of neighbouring Nigeria. The protests have been mainly peaceful, but Cameroon's security forces have cracked down. Six protesters were shot dead last year and hundreds arrested. In an apparent gesture of reconciliation, President Paul Bayer ordered that charges be dropped against several detainees. But that doesn't seem to have calmed tensions. The man who leads the separatists has been touring the US, calling for a peaceful uprising. We call for a non-violent revolution. We call for a non-violent protest. We call for a non-violent march. This is what we are demonstrating to the world, and we have resisted Mr. Beer's army of occupation in our land, but this is a moment that we must continue to stand firm. Of this The UN Secretary-General has asked Cameroon's government to address the grievances of the English speakers. But the UN is unlikely to answer Mr. Taber's prayers for a new country called Ambazonia. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera.